Let's uh, go to Washington now and speak to Mark Bloomfield from the American Council for Capital Formation uh, and Investment. Uh, Capital Formation, sorry, that's your, the title. Thank you very much for joining us. Just looking at these figures, huge sums of money being banded around. The markets didn't like it. Is it enough and will it work? We don't know if it'll work. I think the most important thing to focus on, as the Secretary said, is we're going to have to experiment. We've never done this before. We've never faced these problems. So we've got to be flexible. Is it enough? I think most economists think that as a, a package of this kind uh, is probably the right size. Think of one thing. The old financial package was called the TARP, the Troubled Asset Relief Plan, whatever that meant. This is a much more sophisticated uh, and well thought out plan. It's called the Financial Stability uh, Plan. And it has various components of which you've only mentioned one. Looking at the private public investment fund, though, which is going to take all these toxic assets, who on earth is going to want to touch those with a barge pole? Well, some of the pundits and reporters have already looked at that and said the history of, uh, of private public partnerships is, is not a good one. Uh, you, you don't have many choices here. Uh, one thing is the original plan in TARP was for the government just to buy these assets, and they didn't know what they were worth. Um, so a government plan, per se, didn't seem that it would work. Uh, that was the thing the Bush administration tried and gave up. Then what they went the other way and just injected the second part of this plan, which is insert capital into banks. This is an attempt to get the best in the, of the private sector and the public sector. The best of the private sector, instead of having government bureaucrats try to figure out how much these toxic assets are, private purchasers are the ones who are going to actually determine the price. The market will work. And what is basically happening here is the government is providing initial capital, which then can be leveraged um, into, um, in, into a fund to then buy these assets by sophisticated investors. It's a compromise. It's muddy. It's not pleasant. But as I said, we've never been in this situation before, and we've got to experiment. Okay, the ultimate aim, of course, to get restore confidence, to get lending uh, going again. What do you make of uh, Ben Bernanke's comments just in the last hour, I think, uh, saying that he thought the special central bank programs aimed at easing a credit crunch have helped to relax the severe liquidity strains in markets? I mean, are we, are we at the bottom of all this, do you think? Um, I'm not sure anybody can say we're at the bottom of, of all this. Let me give a kudu to uh, Ben Bernanke and let me urge some caution. The kudu, the plus, is I think yes. Um, I, I think a lot of folks would agree that if we hadn't intervened, uh, we would have had a catastrophe even before, uh, before now. I use the word cat catastrophe very precisely because twice in recent days, the president has said, if we don't act, we move from crisis to catastrophe. And the, the fear of that is one major problem here is lack of confidence. And if people begin to focus on the, a depression, a catastrophe, you begin to withdraw that confidence and people won't consume and businesses won't invest. So it's a, it's a very delicate thing to do. And uh, confidence is something once you lose it, it's hard to get back. And that's why I cannot tell you or nobody can tell you whether we're at the bottom of this yet. Okay, Mark Bloomfield, we must leave it there. Thank you very much indeed uh, for speaking to us here on BBC News. Thank you.